So I'm visiting my family this week in Louisiana, and my mom sent me on an errand to the store to get a few things. So I went down the road to Champagne's and picked out a few things for a soup we're going to make. So I'm back home with all the ingredients that I got at Champagne's, our local grocery store. And I'm going to start off showing you all the different things we have for this soup. First of all, we've got the organic green lentils. This is the star ingredient for this soup. We got these at Whole Foods. They're the Whole Foods brand. We also have reduced sodium chicken broth. You could use any kind of chicken broth that you prefer. You could also use vegetable broth. We just chose the Walmart chicken broth right now because that's what we had in our pantry. We also have a can of Rotel mild tomatoes. Alternately, you could use just a plain can of diced tomatoes. We use the mild Rotel, but you could spice it up with the original or the hot. We also have one onion. This is a medium sized yellow onion. You could use larger or smaller if you prefer. You could also use red onion or white onion if you prefer. Another star ingredient is this pork tasso. Tasso is a type of sausage that we eat in Louisiana. As you can see, it says Cajun family tradition. Now that's Cajun. But you could use any kind of sausage if you can't find this a local to you. This is local to us and this is what we like. It adds good flavor to the soup and it just brings it something unique. We also have a package of chicken breasts. We use about three fourths of this package here, but you could use whatever kind of chicken you like. We have some celery. This is what we had left of our celery. You only need a few stalks of celery and make sure to keep the leaves if you've got some because they add good flavor. We've got here one package of baby Dutch yellow potatoes. Any kind of potato would work, whatever you prefer. But these are some good potatoes for soup. I like to use this type whenever I make soup. We also included carrots. We used about three fourths of this one pound bag of carrots. You could use any variety of carrots. These are just the ones that we had in the fridge already. And so this is what we chose to do. We also have barley. This is just a Quaker variety of barley. We just toss it in the soup. It adds a little bit of texture and it adds some carbohydrates. For flavor, we added garlic powder. You could use real garlic and chop it yourself, but this is just a little more convenient and maybe not as potent. We also have the Morton Seasonal. This is similar to the Tony Sachery's that I use in many of my videos, but this is what my mom prefers to Tony's uh, for this soup. But you could use Tony Sachery's or any other Creole seasoning if you didn't have this. And don't forget the French bread. <laughs> in Seattle, I'd probably eat this soup with sourdough, but here in Louisiana, we're going to eat it with French bread because that's what we do. To begin, we're slicing the celery. My mom likes to slice them diagonally, but you just want to make sure they're really fine pieces. Now we're slicing the onion. You just want to make sure that it's really finely chopped, just like the celery. We did the same with the carrots. We just sliced them so that they would fit easily on a spoon. And the same with the potatoes. Just slice so that they're small pieces. Just getting all our ingredients ready ahead of time. We've got about three fourths cup of barley. 
maybe a half cup to three fourths cup, but you could use more or less to your preference. We've got our sliced carrots ready to go along with our sliced potatoes. And of course the lentils. We're also gonna dice the tasso so that it's in little tiny pieces. This is how it looks when you take it out of the package. And the chicken, the pieces will shrink up a little bit, but you just wanna make sure it's easy to fit on the spoon. You start with a little bit of olive oil down in the pot. You can start it on a medium high to high heat just to get the vegetables cooking. Then you can lower the heat to a medium, medium high heat. And you just wanna make sure everything gets coated in the olive oil to start it off. Once everything is coated in the olive oil and begins to cook, you can add the seasonal or the Tony Sashries or whatever seasoning you're gonna add. We're gonna add the garlic powder at this point. If you're using fresh garlic, you could also add it about this point, but we're garlic powder people. Once everything starts to cook down, you can add the broth and the water. We're gonna start with a gallon of water because we have well water, so we prefer to use store-bought water, but you could use tap water as well. And we're gonna add the Rotel tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and open this can here and pour it in. And we don't like to leave any little bits behind. chicken broth this is the reduced sodium variety from Walmart but you can use any kind of chicken broth that you want and just add it there just add the whole carton this is gonna be a big pot of soup so we're using the whole thing we're adding our gallon of water here we're gonna start off with about three-fourths of the gallon but then as the soup cooks down we're gonna add more and eventually we'll use the whole gallon ready to add the other veggies so we've added some of the carrots already this is what's left and we're gonna add the potatoes you don't want to add the potatoes too early because they get soft and soggy and here we're gonna add the barley one cup here we filled it to about three-fourths so three-fourths to a half a cup of barley we're taking a measurement here to see how many cups we can get out of two pounds of lentils and we actually get about exactly two cups so we add about two cups of lentils to the soup so that kind of gives you a measurement you could cut everything in half for a smaller soup we're adding all of our ingredients to the pot we've brought the soup back up to high now that we're adding the liquids and the veggies and we're going to let it come back up to a little boil and then we're going to lower it again so it doesn't boil everything to mush
So we've got it to a light rolling boil right now and we're just gonna watch it. You can see a little bit of foam at the top, that's normal. I think that's from the potatoes, but we're just gonna watch it and make sure it doesn't overboil. It's boiling a little more now. We're just gonna let the lentils cook down as well as the other veggies and let that barley soak up all the good broth. And then we're gonna lower the heat and let it simmer. At this point we add the rest of our water so it's gonna cook down some more and that's why we add the water in stages because you don't want to overfill the pot and a lot of that broth and water has cooked out so we're gonna go ahead and add some more and we're gonna do a taste test to see how it turned out it's still got some cooking left to do but everything's cooked and the flavors are melding well so we just had to try it out to make sure We're getting our French bread ready. We're gonna slice it and add some butter and garlic to make garlic bread. Pop it in the oven, let it warm up and crisp up on the edges. You could buy French bread already made or just eat it soft and uncooked. That's how I would probably do it. Just put the butter on the bread without putting it in the oven. But we like to be fancy sometimes and make fancy garlic bread. Once the garlic French bread is toasted in the oven, we're ready to serve. Ten out of ten would recommend. This soup is so good. It's light but filling. You've got the healthy protein from the chicken and the lentils. You've got the veggies and the potatoes as well as the flavor from the sausage and the bread on the side it's just good all around but thanks for watching stay tuned to see another louisiana recipe coming up in the next week or so and i hope to see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe